You are looking at what scientists say may be the most significant dinosaur discovery in the eastern United States in more than 100 years. Leg bones from a dinosaur which roamed what is now an industrial park in South Laurel 115 million years ago. Paleontologist J.P. Hodnett believes it is from a creature called Acrocanthosaurus. Picture a thinner T-Rex. It has to do with anatomy. So certain dinosaurs have certain shaped bones, and this had the right exact shape for a big meat-eating dinosaur. Acrocanthosaurus is known from this continent at this time. So that is our top hypothesis of what is the owner of this shin bone. It's um, a large predatory dinosaur. It was the largest predatory dinosaur in North America until T-Rex evolved about 50 million years later. Dr. Thomas Holtz is part of the team working the discovery. This unusual patch of land has been revealing fossils since the 1880s. It is now a protected park and a regular school field trip destination. In the early Cretaceous period, it was a very different place. Picture yourself with redwoods and cypresses in a stream, very slow moving stream draining through this region, sort of swampy in parts. The scientists now believe there may have been a log jam in the stream, which captured the remains of all sorts of animals, which over the eons fossilized under layers of sediment, creating what they now call a bone bed, a jackpot for these dino experts who plan to keep on digging. The finds we're making here are going to help give us more insights into some of the dinosaurs that we already knew or at least suspected were here. Now, if this discovery has ignited your interest in the Cretaceous period, the cool thing about Dinosaur Park here is it's open to the public twice a month. You can come in and look around. You might not find the bones of a big meat-eating dinosaur, but you will find fossils. Just look at this right there. That's the fossilized remains of a plant from 115 million years ago. In Laurel, Brad Bell, 7 News.